Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Ana Isadami. I am here today with Deputy Director Tyler Brock, um, and we are just going to provide a short informational video on monkeypox today. Um, so thank you, Tyler, for yeah, doing this. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about monkeypox and what it is? Yeah, monkeypox is a virus that's been kind of going around the world the last the last couple of months. Um, it's something, it's a virus that is endemic to certain parts of Africa. So it's not unusual for there to be an occasional case in mm -hmm. Africa. This is the first time though, that it's really kind of swept across the world in the way that it has. So it's, it's a virus that causes a rash. Um, you know, it can be in, in some circumstances, the, the illness can be quite serious. It hasn't been overly serious in this particular outbreak. Again, it's a virus that has occasionally is occasionally seen in the world. Um, but we're actually having a fairly unique outbreak right now. Okay. And what's the difference between an endemic and pandemic? Well, That's... endemic is in simple terms, when something is endemic, it means that it's just always there. Okay? okay. It's just something that you always have. There's always some cases here and some cases there. Um, a pandemic is unique. Pandemic is something that has kind of gone in a, a lot, in a lot, um, has gone a lot further than what it normally does. Um, there's it's spread person to person. There's different criteria for what, you know, officially makes a pandemic, but essentially endemic means that it is just a normal part of a particular area or region. And what should people know about monkeypox? Well, several things. Um, you get the, the number one thing people want to know is how do I get monkeypox? How do I keep from getting it? Um, monkeypox. And I want to be very clear about this. It is not COVID. Okay. I do. I, I don't even want to compare monkeypox to COVID because they're two completely different illnesses. They're spread different ways. And it's just, it, we're, we're not going to spend time comparing monkeypox to right. COVID. Okay. Um, you get monkeypox by direct close contact with somebody who actually has the pox actually has the rash or they're the, the scabs because these these pox they actually scab over after a little while so if you have close contact with the rash the scabs the body fluids you might there's a, there's a chance that you could pass monkeypox through respiratory secretions if with really close face-to-face -face prolonged contact you know just talking with somebody for a couple of minutes is not really a risk but actually having close close intimate contact with somebody there could be some respiratory secretions that would be there. So it is not just in the air that we breathe. Right. Okay. It's direct close contact. And I really want to emphasize that because it makes a big difference. We, we get in a lot of calls about people who are concerned, you know, about, you know, going to a gas station after somebody who's pumped gas and they go to the same pump or a grocery store, maybe they had an apple in their hand and then they put it back. And then now you have it. This takes very close contact prolonged contact with someone who actually has it, their body fluids, the sores, the scabs, the rashes, um, you know, getting monkeypox through some type of casual um, random event is really not the way this is being spread right now. Um, I know you mentioned rashes mm -hmm. as a symptom of monkeypox. Mm -hmm. um, are there any other symptoms associated with usually it? it'll start out you don't get the rash right away it usually starts out being more like a lot of every other viral illness you might get a fever you might get headaches body aches one of the things that's actually been pretty consistent though is swollen lymph, lymph nodes you okay. don't get swollen lymph nodes with covid usually you don't get swollen lymph nodes with some of the other viral illnesses but this mm -hmm. is you kind of do that and you usually have these viral symptoms with the swollen lymph, swollen lymph nodes um, just before you get the rash. So again, but a lot of those types of symptoms aren't really going to be identified as monkeypox. They're more general in nature. Right. It's really that rash that you're looking for. It's also important to know that people are only infectious when they have the rash. Okay. okay? So that's another reason why this isn't being passed by people who don't know they have monkeypox. I suppose it's possible. But in general, you're not, you're only contagious while you actually have the lesions. 
And what's the treatment for monkeypox? There really is no treatment. It's okay. a virus. And so it, it's, there's not a treatment per se. There are a couple of, there are one or two antiviral medications mm -hmm. that, that similar to when we get influenza, there's some antiviral medications. So there are a couple of antiviral medications for people who get monkeypox. Um, but for the most part, it's mostly just supportive care. This is tended to be what we call self-limiting, meaning that it goes away by itself. Okay. okay. Usually goes away by itself. Most of the cases, in fact, other than a few isolated cases in Africa, I'm not aware of any severe cases or deaths that have come from this current outbreak. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Yes, definitely. Um, is there a vaccine for it? There's a couple vaccines out there that are being used for it. There is not a vaccine specifically for monkeypox. Uh -huh. These are smallpox vaccines okay. that... The monkeypox virus is similar to smallpox, so it's believed that the vaccine that was created for smallpox should work for monkeypox. Honestly, there's no proof of that yet. You okay. know, there's no data to support that, uh -huh. but it's what we have. And so that we are giving vaccine. There are people that are places that are giving vaccine to folks. Again, I, I want to emphasize there, the data is not clear whether this vaccine is really going to prevent monkeypox, at least in this current outbreak. It should. People think it's going to, but it's not been proven to do that yet. But it's what we have. And so that's what we're using to try to prevent cases. So are we giving that vaccine as well? We have a little bit of vaccine right now, and it's being reserved only for those people who are in close contact with someone with monkeypox. It's not being given to in, in any kind of a preventative way. There is there is some possibility that in the near future, we could be giving out some preventative vaccine before people actually get it. So there that is probably coming. It's probably on its way, maybe even as early as next week or within the next couple of weeks. But right now we have a little bit that's only reserved for people who are direct contacts of people. Okay. And then if anyone has any questions, just contact the health department. Absolutely. We're, help, we're, we're happy to answer any questions again. And I want to kind of emphasize in, in general, anybody can get monkeypox. Okay. Anybody can get that right now. However, the outbreak is primarily centered around men who are having sex with men. Okay. It's not that that's the only group of folks that can get monkeypox, but it is where people, you know, the vast, vast majority of cases are in that population right now. Um, we really want to slow this down though, because right. we don't want it to go into everybody in general population and things like that. Um, so again, general population, most folks are not at high risk for monkeypox right now. And so we, we are getting a few calls asking about vaccine. And, you know, those are very legitimate questions. Right. Um, but again, the vast, the, the, the risk to the general population is quite low right now. Is there anything else you would like to add or think the public should know? You know, I, I really do. I mean, the, the last thing I want to emphasize again, I, I because this illness has been primarily affecting men who have sex with men. If you are in that social network group, you really do need to be careful about who you have sex with the, these days. It just, it's just something that's going around right now. It's in that social network. And we really have to be very particular about who we have intimate contact with. Right. I mean, it's been especially prevalent, you know, in, you know, some of the, the online dating websites and some of the, you know, some of the more casual situations that we find ourselves in where we don't know the person very well. That's where a lot of this has been spreading right now. So we really want to try to limit close contact, intimate contact, sexual contact with people we don't know very well right now, because that's unfortunately where monkeypox is spreading at the moment. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Tyler. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like as always, just give us a call 712-279-6119 if you have any additional questions, um, especially regarding about monkeypox. Yep. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you.